All right, welcome back, survivors. We picked up from last episode here, where we were in the Malden Center, dealing with those awful cannibals. And right now, I am wandering straight into more action. We're going to go up to Slocum Joe's headquarters. Now, in between episodes, I went ahead and gathered up as much of that stuff as I could, took it back to our old stomping grounds, and uh, it was a lot of stuff. So, we have plenty of goodies for the future. Okay, looks like... Got a pretty empty room, minus, looks like a couple in there. Let's see if we can get the old grenade to hop right in there. Let's go with something like that. That looks pretty good. Well, you can't hit him through the wall. That feels a little cheap, but I'll take it. Oh, nice. That's all of them. Beautiful. When game physics works for you. Some of the usual goodies there. Wait, what was it the last thing? Oh, it's torn shirt. Okay, well, this was a lot smaller than I expected. I kind of thought this was going to be a whole other area. But you know what? That's, that's probably okay. Not a lot of goodies in here so far. I can use grenades, so that's going to come in handy. Well, what's that? There fell a great star from heaven, and the name of the star was Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became bitter, and many men died of the waters. And Wormwood comes to Malden now, and she presides below, and the wicked tremble in her meeting of her. Well, that doesn't sound ominous at all. Hmm. Obvious lock. Let's see what's in there. Nice. Notice a Slocum Joe. Well, that's nice and legible. Let's see what's in here. Huh. Two bobby pins later, we get um, a recipe. Okay. I don't know what buzz bites do, but sounds like that's pretty descriptive to me. All right. Well, that was pretty light, but there's a lot of things referencing underground. So I think we're going to look for that later. But now I want to go into that medical center. Okay, I was going to bring you back once we got to the front, but it looks like we have some detection going on. Our destination is down that way. But there's something over here. And I'm not exactly sure how there could possibly be anybody that wasn't pulled. In that last Nuka Cola's. Leave those for now. It just seemed like we got every person under the sun to come after us last time. But apparently, we've got more company. Because that's what Malden has come to give us. Lots of creepy cryptic notes. Ooh, a bobby pin. Just a regular pin. But uh, creepy notes. Really devastating melee guys, and dogs, and all kinds of other nonsense. What? Uh oh. Okay. Alright, let's see what we got here. A couple coming our way, a dog. A missed shot. Uh oh. Okay, here's starting off alright. This isn't going to end well, though. I can already tell you that. Let's try to get up here to see if this is a little better. Because they don't seem to deal with elevation very well. The Malden men may be many things, but uh, capable of dealing with heights? Not so much. Where did they go? Playing this game again, huh? Okay, here we go. Hey! Had about enough of you. That's a keister shot. Okay, let's get this taken care of. Huh. 
All right, there's the other one. All right, let's oh, fall off the ledge. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh. Okay, didn't see that coming. Hmm. Well, this looks like a potentially awesome spot. If I can get up on that roof, I might have a better vantage. I don't know. If I never noticed this before. Okay. <laughs> okay, I like this. I like this a lot. One shot. Got a running dog. Now, what will they do? They'll bobble back and forth across a stick to make sure I can't quite get the shot. That's what they'll do. These could be better shots, but these are free shots, essentially, minus the ammo, of course. Huh. Apparently, I really hate Malden street signs. Hmm. Very target-rich environment. Somehow, I still missed. Oh. Wow, this is a terrible, terrible bit of sniping. There we go. It's a lot more sway than I'm used to. There we go. So I think we have one other person and a dog, maybe? I mean, definitely a dog, but... Okay, where is... What the heck was that noise? It's weird music, maybe? Alright, I am definitely not seeing this dog. Which means, the moment I drop down, he's going to bite my ankle. There's the dog. Doing weird stuff. Let's see if we can't get him. Alright, there we go. Now it seems like, in real life, all the emergency vehicles are deciding right now is the time to go through. It's like they wait until the second I start recording. And then they just go by my house repeatedly. So I'll try to edit that out. We'll see how effective I am at that later. Ooh, demon mask. Let's see what that is. Really terrible, that's what it is. Some of the worst stats I've ever seen. Unless it does something special. Like the ghoul mask. But honestly, with as broken as that ghoul mask was, I don't know that I would really want to use it. Okay, so we're here. This is the location. Let's see what's inside. Oh my god. Found that one guy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Whew. Didn't see that coming. Uh oh. Got a guy above us, it sounds like. Oh. Get the melee out. 
I don't know what that dog was doing. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of moldamin. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, that, that was hoping against hope right there. There was no chance I was getting out of that. I guess the door trick is never a good idea any longer. That <laughs> is, yeah, I never learn. So I've died probably about 40 times. I opted to go back and get some explosives and some mines that we can use. So I'm getting a little tired of uh, getting surrounded, getting ambushed, getting rocked pretty much continuously. Okay, this place is super tough. Okay, it's been a lot of attempts. That last one was pretty good. But it wasn't good enough. Still somebody finding me though. I'm out of mines. Now one thing I've noticed with Frost is it seems like the way the AI is designed, you get everything all at once and then everything else is empty after that. So we maybe that's what's gonna happen here. Get all of our action out of the way right off the start. Oh that, that's something interesting Let's see what that is Malded was a wicked place scientists performed foul tests on unwilling patients and parents watched as their children transformed into cogs of the great machine for these crimes Ukwaltoth sent us the angel now we've been seeing references to the angel in those loading screens so that's interesting she is to purify Malden of its cursed past she is to teach us the way of the new world and she will not rest until the crimes of the past are erased completely. Elder Atreus has called a council meeting to discuss the issue of the old world ghosts. Hmm. wonder what that is. OWG, maybe? I don't know what that would stand for. Uh, they block our path to the Holy Chapel and disrupt our operations at Dunwich. So those are a couple locations we should check out. If only the angel could be sent against them. But the voice tells us that this is not the way of things. 
We must use the strength of our own arms in this battle. I do not fear the war to come, for it has all been done before. Interesting. take like 10 million at this point it's been one of the most dis extremely difficult places I've been yet in frost Okay, it just occurred to me. I've got stealth boys. I've got two of them, in fact. Okay, unbelievably frustrating, part 7,000. Now, I just looked at the clock. I have literally spent three real-life hours doing this. I still haven't got through this room. 
So this is uh, it's going to require some sort of miracle. I'm never getting through this. If this could possibly be the time that goes well for us. Because if it doesn't, I'm about to lose my mind. Oh, there's one. That ought to get the party started. There we go, there we go. Oh my. Stun grenade. <laughs> that was the weakest stun grenade. Who else is coming? I felt like there was another one on my right. Maybe not. I mean, somebody seems to think they know where I'm at. Do I still have a grenade? Okay, that mine's gone. These are all gone. I think there might be one left on the stair somewhere. Oh, there's one right there. Let's see if we can grab it and replace it. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Nothing like getting yourself with a stun grenade. Okay. I hate this game. I hate it. I hate this game so much. This is easily the most frustrating place I've ever been. But I think it's going to have a lot of plot. So I feel like we have to go here. go time. This is a severe number of uh, explosives versus all these yahoos. I'm getting real sick of this place. I hate it in here. 
It's the worst place it's ever been conceived of. Malden men are literally the devil. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how many more of these I got in me. Kind of losing it. Come on, skeleton. coming from now. Okay, good. Oh, my own cow traps are throwing me off. is the bomb. Wait a minute. Hallelujah. We're going to go save. Oh my god, we got that save locked in. You have no idea how happy I am right now. I have spent literally four hours. Four hours getting to this point. Oh. There's just bodies everywhere. This thing flipping out. Settle down there, skeleton. Apparently I can't move it. That's going to annoy me. Wowzer. Holy cow. I think I already read that earlier. I mean, look at this place. This is a mess. Chairs and skeletons everywhere. I mean, I was literally ready to just call it. Wow, I even saved a frag mine. Huh. Dog made it over the wall. Well, I guess I might as well go pick up everything I can. Hopefully I don't get aced on my way through here. They just... How many do you think there were? I mean, I could count them, I suppose, but... I mean, this was ridiculous. And it looks like just about every single person in here. Because there's somebody still searching. But I don't know where they're at. Huh. Well, if there's any question about how much of a cannibal these guys are... And you clearly see it. Blood sacks everywhere. Wow, this mine survived too? Wow. Very nice. nice. Hey, that was my line. Okay, well. You know, I'm thinking about how I can do this. And I think... I'm going to end up making this a uh, giant montage. So you probably just witnessed an 80 style montage of me just dying over and over and over and over and over and over again. And I hope 
that was entertaining for you. I'm going to try to squeeze this episode down. I think, uh, hopefully I can get it down to like a half an hour or so. Because, as I was saying earlier, I think my intention as the school year starts back up in a couple days is to start recording shorter episodes. So maybe split episodes into two parts so that I have 30 minute episodes. That seems to be more your guys' speed as far as how much time you spend watching. So, can't get in there. Let's try this. There we go. That's it. But I think, you know, with the two 30 minute episodes, it's gonna be a little better for the viewing audience. It's gonna be difficult for editing purposes, but I think it'll be better overall. I have a feeling nobody likes to sit up the hour long time there. Uh, I certainly didn't like spending the four hours of time recording this one. Um, oh, screw you, ghoul mask. Nobody likes you, except for us, because you're so good. Man, yeah, I, I think everybody's been pulled. I'm starting to think there's nobody left. Which would be okay by me. Though the little detection bars are still moving. It's clearly seeing outside for some reason. A little glitchy. Huh. Never letting you out. Okay, so this area is a little weird. But we can deal with that. A little weird's okay. When it's empty and there's no bad guys left. Oh wow, another one didn't go off up here. Nice. I don't think I can pick this. Okay, so we need a key for that. Hopefully there's one in here. So I'll definitely beat it. Wow, this is crazy. A bunch of my mines got saved. So I guess the mines that did go off were just very effective. Uh oh. Oops, that's not a mine. Good work, me. Very proud of myself there. Oh. If I were a bad guy, where would I be? be a job for the other stealth boy. Could be down here. Seems like they're above me though. Whoop. Okay, our backs are covered. I don't know what was in that room, I just slid past. It's an elevator, okay. Um, let's just get that set and ready to go. Anyone left in here? Ew, this is gross. kill whoever that was. Okay, I think I only had two mines left, so they were on either end of this hallway. There we go. Still somebody else? Okay, we're making it through this. Unlucky 13, we cannot be deterred. They literally were serving people up cafeteria style. It's clearly above my head. Okay, let's see if our luck is truly unlucky. Cursed. Cursed. Episode 13 strikes again. Who? Huh? 
Who hot indeed? Oh, I'm confused. Sounds like one of those stupid monkeys. Something glitching out, I think. Can't possibly be somebody shuffling their feet that much. There's beds in here. I guess they did say there were experiments going on on the children. So I guess somewhere you had to stay somewhere if you're being experimented on. Found. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, we're winning this battle. I thought. Oh, crap. Let's run in place. That's part of the montage. Copyright infringement. Gotta be careful with music, they get real serious about that stuff. God, where are... Is there any way for them to come down, I guess is the question. Feels like the answer should be yes. Ooh. Oh my goodness, jackpot. Okay. Well, that was nice. Okay, we haven't gone in here yet. Let's see what's in here. There's probably gonna be a bunch of nothing by the looks of it. Oh, excellent. Permanently inflict 2% limb damage. Well, that's pretty nice. That was worth opening an advanced lock. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my, indeed. We're just going to keep George Takaiing it here. Takai, Takai. You pick your poison. I got my anti venom. Ooh, Medex. And what's this? Something heavy, probably, you don't need. Oh, a fusion core. Ha 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 ha. They really, really want me to use that power armor, don't they? Okay, well, we, we might end up using it in the future. I probably should have used it here, honestly. With well, as crazy as this was, probably would have been pretty helpful. Okay, let's get those set up here and there. So when this dog comes streaking down to get us, he gets exploded. Because he's directly above us. Mm -hmm. Let's see who comes a knocking. That's just something going, making a bunch of crazy noise. Something's rattling around. Oh, here we go. Clearly there's one left. Let's see if they get this mine. Come on. Probably crippled up. Come on. Right around the corner? What's going on here? I can feel it. Getting to get back. St oh my god. Okay. Oh, buddy. Come on, Malden man. Oh, sweet. Is there still something alive? Okay, I need a bed. I need to get in it. Need to make sure we get a save locked in before anything stupid happens. 
think there was a bed in here. Yes. Okay. I'm tired from lack of sleep. I can deal with that. Alright, we're making progress. Finally. Finally. A mere seven hours. No, no, it's not actually been seven hours. But it has been almost five. Now, the bars are still wiggling. They're not wiggling hard. I don't know what to make of that. But we haven't checked this yet. Let's see what's in here. Saucer, bandage, some cans. Really heavy Carlisle typewriter. <gasps> the operating key. Huh. <laughs> I think we have what we need to go to the next area. And that seems like it's going to be the place to wrap this episode up. We're going to go ahead and take this bobby pin, take these teddy bears as a prize for our success. And next time we're going to go through that theater and see what's in there. Now I think there's a whole other section of this that will be uh, ready for us and waiting. So we'll do that next time, and I'll catch you the next time we crawl out from the fallout. Stay frosty!